What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Baby Doge today. We're gonna go over the technicals and we're also gonna go over some of the updates that were posted to the Twitter and some of the recommendations that we got for Baby Doge and the trends that we have going on in Baby Doge right now. So definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you wanna check out my other channel, Marcellus Travels, Definitely go ahead and do that. I have some travel experiences on there if you want to check out those vlogs. And also go ahead and pre-save my album link in the description. Let's get straight to it though. Let's talk about Baby Doge. Actually, we hit this support way down here. You know, we were talking about this during the live stream the other day. And we're also talking about it in the previous videos, how this 1250 support was probably going to get hit. Because as you can see here, we went straight down below this support line. So we started to go down below that. And now we're using that same support line as a resistance line. So now... We're getting rejected at this 1325 resistance. So now you're also seeing it making lower highs. Look at this high right here, this one right here, this one right here. It's making lower highs and it's slowly but surely inching its way back down to that 1250 support that we hit yesterday. So we're inching our way right back down there. And we also hit the same support way back here on the 30th of October. So we keep hitting the same support over and over again. And I definitely believe we're probably going to end up hitting that support again. Actually, if you look over here, the resistance that we're hitting, we're actually about to hit it again and probably going to get rejected again. But you can see right now this whole red area, it's a very lightly shaded red. So it's a very dim area. It's pretty much showing there's a little bit of demand here. Not much demand, but there is some, but not much at all. And that's actually why we're seeing this pullback here. You're actually seeing it hit this resistance area. So... We're probably going to continue to pull back from there and eventually get down to that 1250 support here. And anyways, it does show we are bullish by 80%, but I don't know how long that's going to last because, you know, that's in the last 24 hours and they're really considering this as the bullish movement. But now it's starting to become bearish. You see there are green or red areas here. A little bit of green is forming up here for these candlesticks, but still, we're probably still going to get rejected up there at that resistance now. We also want to look at Bitcoin a little bit here because Bitcoin is actually really important when you look at this. And you can actually see Bitcoin is hitting the same resistance. You know, it's still hitting its resist resistance all the way up here. It got rejected all the way up here yesterday at about 20.7K. We were mentioning that in our previous video that Bitcoin was also on the decline. And now you can actually see here it's also creating lower highs just like Baby Doge's. So Bitcoin is creating lower highs, Baby Doge's as well. And you can actually see here on the oscillator showing that it was overbought here. So now selling is about to come up here next. That's why we're seeing this strong downtrend indicator because selling is about to start coming in for Bitcoin. So we got to get prepared for that. It also says if we were to get above this um, red area here, we could have high activity, which will be what sends us up to the next resistance all the way up here, which is probably where we'd get rejected again, 20.6, 20.7K. But since, you know, we're already getting rejected, I don't think we're probably going to get past that right now. We're probably going to continue to go down till the next support, like I mentioned in the previous video. So let's bring up the four hour chart here now. So that next support here is all the way down at this level right here. And this level is about 19.5K. And then we have another support down at 18.4 to 18.2K. So we're really looking at that 19.5K right now. Right now we're at 20.2. But we should be coming down below this area here. It looks like we're about to break out of this whole area here. So we have way less demand here. And once we break out, it's straight down to 19.5K. So that's pretty much what we're here expecting here for uh, Bitcoin. You can also see here on the oscillator, you know, the buying is slowing down. Less buying is coming in. Selling is starting to speed up. More selling coming in. So inevitably, we're going to start going down from here. Now. Everything could just change, you know, inside of the blink of an eye. But technically, when we look at the technicals, it should be going down. So that's what we're looking at. But that's why I say none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor at all. But that's what it's seeming like right now with the price. It's definitely seeming like the prices are going to be going down. But yeah, definitely not financial advice though. But let's move on from here. So Baby Doge is up like 2.8% right now. That's pretty good. You know, it was up 3.7% earlier. But something I like that's happening right now with Baby Doge is the trend. And uh, it was actually here on the side. I don't know why it's not showing up anymore. There it is. But yeah, it was showing up, but now it's showing everything else. There it is right there. 7,450 tweets for Baby Doge in the business and finance section 
on Twitter for the trends. So that's pretty good. Now, we're also getting more and more holders. We have 1,632,856 holders. That's a lot of holders that we're getting in right there. We're going to continue to get more holders. You can see this huge steep slope right here just going straight upwards, just indicating so many different people coming in on baby dose. So we're getting a lot of different holders every single day. And not only that, you can also see over here with my um, farming journey, I'm still earning more and more from farming, but you can also see that the APR is dropping down lower as more liquidity is added into this pool. Now, this one down here has 4.6 million, that's a lot, but yeah, these liquidity pairs, they have some high APRs, especially to the Watin swap one, which is now a core for Baby Doge, it's a core one, and it's for Watin to BNB. So that's pretty cool to see that 588% APR. That's pretty good. 345 days. That's also pretty good. I'm, I'm just waiting for this one right here to end. It is the hottest one inside of Baby Doe Swap. I'm waiting for it to end so I can go ahead and put more in. And the second time around, I'm definitely going to put a lot more in. Because right now I only put like $89 in there. And uh, I could go ahead and harvest it right now if I want. Obviously, it's not going to show up when I click harvest though because I'm doing this through Trust Wallet. And I would have to pull my trust wallet out to uh, confirm it. And it's going to be like a dollar and some change for the reward, or I mean for the fee to take it out. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that because there's no point of uh, paying that dollar and 50 cent fee, dollar 30 cent fee, when I only have five dollars in rewards. So there's no point in that. But um, let's talk about some of the uh, incentives for burning with Baby Doge. So inside the previous uh, tweet that we were talking about on the live stream yesterday, the tweet pretty much talked about like Baby Doge, they're asking, what should we do next? What should we put out next for Baby Doge Swap? And they're asking everyone. Everyone said burns. So what they kind of turned around and did here, they said, what are some creative ways that we can make you guys burn your coins? And that's kind of what's happening here. So they're trying to incentivize people to burn uh, Baby Doge out of their wallets. Instead of uh, taking Baby Doge out of the liquidity in different areas and taking it from the dev wallets instead, they're uh, incentivized, trying to incentivize people to burn their coins. Uh, I guess you can take that however you want, but I'll go ahead and read this for you. It says, if we made a burn portal, what are some creative ways we could incentive users to burn more tokens? So they want people to burn tokens instead of burning the uh, tokens, I guess, that they have locked away. Because, you know, for Baby Doe Swap, we need rewards and all that stuff. So... I guess I guess it's a, a fair deal here. They already burned a lot from the dev wallets. They burned a lot from liquidity when they did all the manual burns. So they're trying to see if people will come together and burn their own coins since everyone wants to burn so bad. Let's see how many people actually will burn their own coins. So that'll definitely be interesting. But they said some ideas include NFTs that they could offer to be received for burning tokens or tiers of the NFTs, like how they have the 3D NFTs and stuff. And down here, people are um, responding. Someone said, you have to do a massive burn first before asking the community. You have to burn enough to get in the trillions. Quadrillions is ridiculous. Show us you are serious and start with a major burn. The problem with that is that there's so many people holding baby doge to the point where even if they burned all the coins that they had, there would still be quadrillions because the devs still hold a lot of coins. There's a lot of whales that hold a lot of coins. Literally, whales are holding trillions and trillions of coins. Actually, let's go ahead and pull this up. And also, another thing, we are trending on CoinGecko. So that's pretty good. Rank 169 on CoinGecko. But let's go ahead and look at the Binance Smart Chain because this is very telling. So a lot of people um, are a little bit miseducated on the distribution of Baby Doge and why we cannot get down to trillions of coins. A lot of people are really miseducated on this. For one, the burn wallet is already holding million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, 199 quadrillion. The burn wallet is already holding almost half of the baby doge. So almost half of all baby doge has already been burned, right? So I'm just going to try to break down some of this logic here because a lot of people are highly uneducated, highly uneducated on how the burns work and how many people are actually holding baby doge and how it's really distributed. Unicrypt, look at this million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. Now, Unicrypt has 14% of all baby dotes locked away. It's locked away inside of Unicrypt. 60 quadrillion baby dotes. Hear me out, 60 quadrillion. 
This money inside of Unicrypt is locked away and the money inside the burn wallet is never leaving the burn wallet. The only time money ever leaves this Unicrypt wallet, I guess, has been uh, 102 days ago. But um, actually, no, it says out right here. It has been uh, 28 days since that happened. And that was, I guess, the last burn. And some of it also went to Baby Doe Swap. So typically, they don't take out of Unicrypt unless they're burning. So we can burn some in the Unicrypt, but then we're taking away from our liquidity, right? That's very important. You got to remember that part. Now, any swap for OKX Exchange. So for OKX Exchange, they have this inside their swap. 3.4 baby percent or 3.4 percent of baby doge cannot be burned because you can see here million billion trillion quadrillion this 14.3 quadrillion cannot be manually burned by the developers because okx owns that and it's on their exchange and people own baby doge on the okx exchange so 14.3 percent quadrillion or 14.3 quadrillion will never be burned right that's 3.4 percent of baby doge 199 quadrillion, which is 47% of baby doge, can never be burned because it's already burned. So now we're already looking at half of the supply. 50% of the baby doge supply will never be burned because it's already it's already locked away. You know, 47% already burned, 3% locked away on another exchange. 14%, it's on Unicrypt, it's our liquidity. We can't just get rid of it like that. We can't do nothing about that. So now we're already looking at 65% of baby doge that we already can't burn, right? Now stay with me, gate.io, that's their exchange, they own that, we can't do nothing about it. People hold baby doge on that exchange, they hold on there, they have IOUs pretty much, they cannot move that money. So now another 2.5% will not be burned. That's about 67.5% that we cannot burn. Pancake swap liquidity, we need that as well. 7.3 quadrillion will not be burned. That's 1.75%. You see where I'm going with this. There, it's almost impossible for us to get down the trillions unless we start going to these exchanges and we're like, look, release some of these coins and burn them yourselves. But how can they do that when people own the coins on their exchange? They could only do that if they force people to sell off their exchange and then burn the coins, which they're not going to do. I mean, this is a business here. And then this wallet right here, it's a contract wallet, has $6.7 million in it. That's $5.1 quadrillion baby doge one percent probably not going to end up getting burned i mean it's a large amount like we got we gotta be completely uh realistic here um a little bit is coming out of this wallet but i don't think they're just gonna burn it all like that so if you really want to get down to the uh, the bottom of this the holders themselves are us as holders we cannot just completely burn all the coins ourselves but if you want the baby doge developers to do these burns. You would first have to incentivize these large exchanges to burn all their coins, right? Then you gotta incentivize the baby doge developers to take some out of Unicrypt and burn those coins. Then you gotta convince the pancake swap to take some out that out that liquidity and burn those coins. Then you gotta convince all these different wallets here to take out and burn their coins. You gotta convince Hotbit to burn their coins, Maxi Global to burn their coins. You see why this is so difficult. It is literally impossible for Baby Doge to get down to trillions of coins by themselves. The developers cannot get this down to trillions of coins alone. It would literally take everybody and all the exchanges and all the liquidity holders inside of Baby Doge coming together to burn them all at once in order for us to get down to a trillion. So it's really illogical for people to say that first we need massive burns. We don't need massive burns first. We need a redistribution of tokens first. And the only way that really happens is a migration. And then from there, it can happen. But as you can see here, it's pretty difficult to actually get down to a trillion coins. It's not something that happens overnight. And it might not even be something that happens in a year. This is something that happens five years down the line as transactions keep happening and those auto burns kick in and some manual burns in between. So the trillion baby doge, that's not gonna happen until we completely you know, redistribute all these coins. Now, other people are saying create your own exchange like PancakeSwap, I mean, we already have that. And then uh, a lot of other people are talking about, I think you should make big burning on a regular basis, which um, I kind of debunked that why they can't 
they financially cannot do that because they financially do not have the coins to do that. They don't own all the coins. We own a majority of them and exchanges do as well. They can't just take from the exchanges. The only way Baby Doge can physically burn these coins is by taking from the Unicrypt, taking from uh, Pancake Swap Liquidity, and this is going to take away from the people. So they really cannot do what you want them to do. And uh, I just had to come in, come here and uh, you know debunk that because, yeah, a lot of people don't know exactly how it works. Uh, yeah, a lot of people just don't understand it. But anyways, let's talk about some more things here. So let's go ahead and move on to this. We have this um, we have this whole partnership with Rough Haven, and this was a little community event that they had. They were uh, vaccinating dogs and then giving them food and all that and with the help of baby doge so this is where a lot of the rewards and stuff are also going and yeah this is definitely pretty good because baby doge is one of the only meme coins out there that have the doge and the the, the dog in their name that's actually supporting dogs i think dogecoin does some of that too but baby doge is one of the only ones all the other ones they they kind of just steal the name run with it and do nothing to help dogs or the community at all now we have 30 million dollars in total value locked now in baby doge this is exciting because we're now at 100 and we're at 165 for our ranking in DeFi llama we're at 30.1 million in total value locked we're at this is just huge we're, we're going to be like a top 50 very soon top 100 and then top 50 then hopefully we can get to a top 10 for our DeFi exchange hopefully we can do that now, Shiba Swap, that which has been out for way longer, is at rank 182 with only 26.14 million. So it's definitely pretty cool to see that we're like really growing at a really fast pace. But yeah, um, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Uh, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section. Definitely pre-save my new album. Link in the description. And definitely check out my Marcellus Travels channel if you want to check out my travel experience here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and eventually all over the world. And as always, I'll be back with another video.